What's going on guys, Sarah back with a new video and in today's one, Daisy 115 has been updated to stable version. They've added a couple of things to the game, so let's go straight through it. They've added the AUR A1 assault rifle. They've added the AUR AX assault rifle. They've added a 30 round magazine that goes in both of those rifles. They've also added the Hunter Vest. They've also added the UI indicator for when being hit, which now can be toggled on or off in the server settings. They've added a craftable barbed wire baseball bat. They've added a craftable sawn off Lamas. They've added a new female survivor. They've added sounds for switching the fire mode on a firearm. They've added daytime setting for night vision scopes. And they've added metal wire can now be crafted out of barbed wire. They've done a lot of fixes as well. Ski masks and balaclavas would clip with several pieces of headgear. Fix the server error caused by specific attachment slots. Electric appliances would always make plug-in sounds when the user was connecting to the server. The sawn off version of the BK43 had the wrong fire mode name. Added a missing bed and the big yellow medical tent. Fixed bad collision in the yellow medical tents. A killed chicken couldn't be picked up properly in all cases. The fishing hook was not visible on the boonie hat on the ground. If a player died while in surrender stance, the death animation was played twice. Base building parts could become indestructible under specific circumstances. The CR-75 could not be damaged by gunfire. Small items could not be picked up from specific positions in car wrecks. Livonia bunkers were missing some textures of fallen leaves. Slicing rotten pumpkins produce raw pumpkin slices, and charcoal tabs are only working for a very brief time window. So a fair few things fixed in the fixed category, now they've also changed a lot of stuff, so let's go through that as well. Grenades can't be pinned anymore, once the fuse has started.
adjusted the thresholds for energy and hydration levels. Food now takes longer to process in the stomach. Slightly reduced the damage caused by dehydration and starvation. Reduced weapon fire rates and recoil. I have a video showcasing all the new fire rates if you want to check that out, I'll link it in the description. Added new variants of muzzle flash for more variety. Secondary cooking processes were adjusted to not ruin the food in all cases. Changed the weight of a tent to be more realistic. Head torches now count as eyewear so they can be worn with types of headgear. Removed ghillie wrap attachment from the Sonoff BK43. It is now possible to craft rags using the shovel or farming hoe. Bushes drop more long sticks instead of short sticks. Dry bags can now be repaired with the tire repair kit. Removed grenade armor and cup protection from the high capacity vest. Unconsciousness caused by firearms lasts longer. Reduce the inventory size of the car filler from 2x3 to 1x3 slots. Reworked conditions for allowed item combinations. Increase the volume of the Lamas reload sounds to make it more audible. Closed containers won't show their cargo space anymore. So an absolute ton of change fixes there again which is great to see. They've also tweaked some stuff in the central economy. Infected weren't spawning at below the airfield and military areas. Position of some spawn point loots on the western helicopter crash site. They fixed some spawns, some loot spawns in some houses and they've tweaked the tiers on Livonia as well. That's all for the central economy. There is a load of stuff there to do with server side stuff and there is a load of stuff then to do with modding for the PC side of things. There is also some new stuff coming in for console and vanilla PC where you can now have pretty much build anywhere, unlimited stamina, different weather and everything like that as well. I'm going to link a video down below done by Scale Speeder Gaming that goes through how to access all this stuff in detail. He's going to have more videos up in the coming future as well so be sure to subscribe to him to find out all the technical side of how to do all of that. But otherwise than that, that's pretty much it for Daisy 115. I'm going to be live streaming this later on today and hopefully going to find the two augs if possible. Leave me know your thoughts in the comment section down below as usual. And until then, I'll just catch you guys next one. So, peace out for now.